morning everyone. It has been so long since we have seen a waterfall. So today we've decided to see four of them. Our first stop is here at Clear Waterfalls, which is a spring-fed 30-foot waterfall right off Highway 38. And there's snow oh, here. Oh, and look, Josh came with us this time. You'll notice this water is super clear because it is a spring-fed river. This is Clearwater River right here, and it is definitely clear water. Check out this cute little trail. There's the waterfall over there. This waterfall, you don't have to hike to get to it, so it's really convenient if you don't like hiking but you want to see a pretty waterfall. But if you want to, you can easily hike to the top of the falls. You can actually swim up there if you want to, though the water is really cold. And here it is. We just hiked to the top of the falls and look how beautiful. Look, Rai is throwing stuff in the water as usual. <laughs> this is like a running tradition. The boys are attempting to cross the river I via logs, <laughs> which I don't think is a good idea. If someone falls in that water, they're gonna be freezing. And this is actually a campground too, so you can camp here. There are picnic tables, there are bathrooms, which actually were pretty clean. So it's not a bad spot at all. Oh, Josh is being risky. I'm serious, if someone falls in that, our trip is ruined. Now we are at Whitehorse Falls, which is another waterfall that does not require a hike to get to it. And just like the previous waterfall, it's a part of Clearwater River, and this one is 15 feet in height. So perhaps not as impressive, but we haven't gone to see the falls yet because we were hungry, so we're having a picnic. But we can hear the falls. I think it's just like right there. Is that good, Raya? <laughs> oh, there's a bathroom in our car over there. I don't know what you're talking about, girl. This one has a cool like bridge and viewing area, but it looks like there might be a little trail right there if you want a closer look. What's it look like? Whoa, hey, that one's not too bad. That water looks deep. I would not want to be stuck in that. It like falls into a little bowl. Okay, so now we are getting to the good waterfalls. We're at Watson Falls, which is the third largest waterfall in the entire state of Oregon. It has a height of 272 feet, but we do have to hike to get to it. It's not a long hike though. Round trip there and back is only 0.8 miles, so a little less than a mile. And I'm really, really eager to see this one. Oh my gosh, Merrick, he's got a butterfly on his finger. <gasps> Whoa. He's the butterfly whispered. All the butterflies keep surrounding Merrick today. Hey! How did you get up there? I am a giant. Oh, no. <laughs> I was trying to get up there. So here's the beginning of the trail. It looks pretty cool. Yeah. You hear her? She's so confused. Go back. How did he get up there? Oh, Merrick lost his butterfly. He's calling for it. <laughs> Are you sad? Yeah. He'll come back. Rye's so confused. How did he get on that rock? I like these miniature pine cones, so cute. Miniature pine cones. This trail is rated as moderate because it's um, gradually uphill pretty much the entire time. It's not honestly too bad. Raya's doing it and she's a toddler, so. We're starting to see bits of the river. This uh, water that we're following along right now, this is Watson Creek. So this waterfall is called Watson Falls because it's part of Watson Creek. Hey, how'd you get up there? He's a monkey. There's the big waterfall up there. Oh my gosh. This waterfall is so big, I'm starting to get wet. Do you see all the mist? It's like it's raining. Oh, I can't even walk. It's so slippery and muddy. Oh. I don't know if I've ever seen a waterfall this high. It is crazy and the mist is insane. Some people were just hiking back down and they were drenched. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Wow! I'm getting drenched! Oh my god! Okay, this waterfall is pretty amazing, but I couldn't get footage too up close because the mist is crazy. This waterfall is so strong, and it's actually getting really cold because the sun is behind the fall, so it's like misty and cold. I think we're about to head back down and go to our next waterfall. Now we have saved the best for last, at least I hope we did. <laughs> this is Tokiti Falls, and here at the trailhead, we have this huge pipe. This pipe actually diverts water from the North Umpqua River all the way to a powerhouse a bit downstream. And because of that, the waterfall actually flows pretty consistently all year long. This is an easy 0.8 mile round trip hike, just like the other one. So it's not very long, and I think this trail is actually easier than the other one. But this trail can be treacherous during winter. We came in January one year, and it was so snowy and so icy. 
we all kept falling down while holding Raya as a baby, so it was just way too dangerous. We had to turn around and leave without ever seeing the waterfall, so this is actually gonna be our first time seeing it. You got it, whoa! Oh. <laughs> the reason that we are all really excited to see this waterfall is because this is one of the most well-known waterfalls in all of Oregon, and that's because of its extremely unique basalt formation surrounding the waterfall. And basalt is like a type of lava rock, but it usually shows up in column form, which you will definitely see when we get to the waterfall. Whoa, check that out. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, you got another butterfly on your finger. It looks like the same one. How do you keep attracting all these butterflies? Josh is actually in a hurry because he has some friends coming over tonight for a game of D&D, &D, but we keep having to wait on him. He's like stopping to take pictures. I'm like, well, this is as far as we got last time. These were the stairs of death. Yes, they were covered in ice. I really like this part of the trail because there's stairs there. And then you go around the trail and then there's stairs there. There's a viewing platform over there for looking at the waterfall, which is right over here. And here it is. This is actually a 113 foot tall waterfall. There are two steps in it. There's one right there, and then out, you can't really see it, but there's one up there too. <laughs> Raya's dancing. <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah, we did it, Raya. Well, it's official. Our waterfall adventure is done for the day. It was so much fun. Merrick, what was your favorite waterfall? Mm, I guess the tall one. Watson Falls. All right, Blaine, what was your favorite? The tall one. Watson Falls. Look, you know everybody's gonna say Watson Falls because it was like, oh my goodness, it's gigantic. <laughs> yeah. I guess what mine was. Watson Falls. <laughs> now we have a two hour drive back home. Luckily we have a DVD player in this car and we still have snacks. I actually rented some movies out of the red box for the kids to watch. But I'm pretty sure Rai is gonna sleep and the boys might take a nap too. And do you think we'll be home in time for your D&D &D game? <laughs> All right, well I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Thanks for watching. See ya. See ya. <laughs>